Good afternoon. I'm Marisa Vedra. And I'm Jim Williams. Two big stories right now at four and our team of reporters working on them. New details about the man accused of mass murder in Chicago. And arrests in a violent robbery spree. We want to start there with CBS 2's Tara Molina. Tara? It's been weeks and the long list of violent robberies has just continued to get longer and longer. But today, Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown said he believes the four men behind bars are behind many, many more. Chopper 2 video of a man being taken into custody Monday after this fiery crash in Lincoln Square. The car believed to be stolen. The men speeding from police were caught in an attempted robbery. The man in this video, one of four found by police hiding in a garage. These are the four men now charged with multiple felonies in the spree of violent robberies we've been tracking for weeks. Each one facing multiple felony counts for the four incidents police have connected the dots and charged them in, but they're believed to be behind dozens more. For weeks, we've been tracking the violent crimes across the city's north and west sides, more than 100 in a month. Robberies involving men in ski masks with guns, everything happening quickly. Criminologists have told us it's a tough crime for police to make arrests in. You know, the clothing uh, and the weapons. We asked Superintendent Brown about that. He said surveillance plays a big role. The community talking about uh, what was on their camera, the ring cameras, uh, the cameras that we used, and all of that video together. Uh, led to a very aggressive uh, surveillance plan that was put in place, uh, which, which put us in the right place at the right time uh, to capture them real time as they were, we believe, attempting to, to do more robberies. Chicago police tell us multiple districts worked together and coordinated to make these arrests and to continue to crack down on this armed robbery spree. Coming up tonight at 5, more on what police say needs to happen next. They're calling out the court system. Reporting live outside CPD headquarters, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.